Zombie culture. Zombie nation. We persecute people for no reason. No reason. And worse, because there is a reason here, and the reason is diametrically opposite to the truth. Diametrically opposite. We single out the nicest women for sacrifice. It's like that short story, The Lottery, which really is persecution at random, right? It's a startling story. And it's a horror story because it is true. We are like that. That's exactly how we operate, except it's only worse. Because we don't single out women to persecute at random. We do it with the nicest women, systematically. And this is feminism who has instituted this custom. See here, Norway is at it. But started in as an Anglo-American thing. It's now normalized here too. And I'm the only one who is speaking out. Me and Bruce Ryan, of course. Watch my video, the worst travesty ever, for the evidence and a discussion of how this is insane. But all you need is common sense. You should be able to speak out if you had common sense and you cared about injustice. But I imagine that in cultures that have human sacrifice, it's a lot like the lottery. Nobody is particularly concerned. It's a matter of fact thing. We go about this. We don't really know why we do it. Or maybe there's a justification like there is uh, in these uh, as opposed to sex crime cases. And we just go about it. But here it's so much worse because it's just so salient. I mean, what can be more salient to a human? who has normal human feelings, that this is the diametrically opposite of what it's made out to be. So why do we tolerate it? That's so surreal. Why don't you do something? Why do you let this pass? Are you really that brainwashed? You're a nation of zombies, Norway, too, now. Sexless, unconscious zombies have forgotten what it's like to be human. This is not the human experience. This is absurd. It is worse than a witch hunt because it is a witch hunt that singles out the nicest women. <laughs>